Hi, I'm Andrea. And I'm Matt. Welcome to Fries on the Side. And on today's episode, we're going to compare our TAG teardrop trailer and our new TC teardrop. And be sure to stay tuned to the end, and we're going to tell you why we made the switch to the TC. These two <laughs> teardrops. All right, I gotta be honest. This video got a little long comparing two trailers and all of these topics. So I'm gonna do my best to put bookmarks uh, in the video so you can jump to specific topics as you desire. If you like what we're doing here, please hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell. Uh, come along for our journey. We've got plenty more content to follow. All right, let's do this. All right, so weights. Uh, the tag is listed at a dry weight of about 1,200 pounds, 1,200 pounds. Uh, frankly, I haven't weighed the TC, but it is definitely more heavy. I would say probably 1,000 pounds heavier, maybe even a little bit more. So you're probably about 2,500 pounds. Uh, tongue weight, definitely a heavier tongue weight. I will try to figure out what that is, but definitely more than um, you know a couple hundred pounds, I would think. Uh, the TC is rated, I believe, depending on what you put on storage, kind of in that 120 uh, pounds. So uh, definitely a lot more weight. Um, as far as towability with the with the Jeep, uh, we have a Jeep Wrangler, Rubicon, and both the the tag definitely pulls better. I'm gonna be honest, the tag is a way lighter trailer. Um, we do feel the TC behind us. But we really didn't struggle going through the mountains of Montana and things like that uh, outside of what we normally would. So I'd say they both relatively pull equally. All right, so let's talk hitch configuration. So this is a standard two inch ball hitch with a fixed jack. And the number one issue with this thing is when you have a Jeep that has a swing out tailgate, you physically cannot get it open. You have to get an aftermarket jack or do some sort of other configurations up front. Okay, so on the TC teardrop, it's got a pitch and roll style hitch, which basically can articulate in any direction. So your tow vehicle can be going one direction and your trailer can go and be going the other. The other thing is that this is a swing up jack. So what happens is this space becomes clear space and the Jeep can open its door while connected. Huge benefit for those Jeep owners out there. The frame of the tag is built out of channels which ultimately saves some weight um, and still provides adequate strength. Clearance though, this is a boondock version and your lowest point is this tire. Now granted you could move the spare tire but really that's your ultimate clearance. Which, it, which ends up being about Ten and a half inches of clearance from the spare tire. If you were to remove that and base it off of the axle, you probably end up with about a foot or so of clearance. Uh, so decent and can definitely get you on some pretty good trails. So the frame of the TC teardrop is actually made out of two by two uh, tube frame, which adds a little weight, but it adds a ton of strength. Uh, also, there is nothing underneath here besides the rear axle, and in my case, that's 16 inches of clearance. So getting your tires up on things and as you're articulating through stuff, really you can handle some decent sized trails. Alright, so stock tires are 235-75R15 uh, Patagonia All-Terrain. So uh, we've had this now for three years. And uh, honestly, it's got some really good tread. Uh, still remaining, great set of tires, uh, just a little bit smaller than we like. On the TC Teardrop, we've got matching tires and rims, which equates to 35 inches of tire uh, by 1250 by 17 inch rims on fuel uh, beadlock for faux beadlock rims. Uh, I really like the setup, looks really solid with the Jeep. So specifically to the Tag Boondock, there's a nice aluminum frame that they put up front for storage. So it has some platforms on both sides and then there's actually a space that you can put a Honda generator uh, right up front. Uh, adds a little bit to the tongue weight obviously, but it gives you some you know good storage. 
as far as like enclosed or semi weather tight areas there's really only this kind of odd shaped space up front and it's really occupied by your propane tank and your battery so there's not a lot of space you can stick in here we threw some chucks and different things but relatively limited for a storage outside so on the front of the TC teardrop this has a basically a five foot truck bed uh, storage container so weather tight uh, in here we have the battery uh, some couple charging but really this whole space uh, is cleared for sticking storage and so we have a Honda generator uh, all of our chucks uh, the tent the awnings things like that that all fits up front this does add quite a bit of tongue weight so you got to be careful and watch what you can handle on your rig on the tag there's Yakima roof rack uh, which can certainly hold any awnings or anything along that nature, uh, the same kind of road showers if you wanted to. Uh, but I don't think it's recommended that you throw like a rooftop tent, so there is some limitations to weight uh, specifically to the tag. So on the TC Teardrop, it's got a custom rack uh, platform, which is very sturdy. I can get up on top of there, no problem. We've got some bikes, two awnings, seven gallons of water uh, for a road shower, and it is uh, phenomenal, rides great. Okay, so this is our tag. So with the door, the door is tall, has a nice window on the door, so you're able to open it to get more sunlight or close it. The windows, the windows have, um, you have to unscrew them, loosen them up, and they open up at this um, angle, which is really nice so when it rains, we don't get rain inside of the rig. We have a screen. Um, so you can keep it open or you can close it to get more privacy. And it's kind of like a blind. So this is the TC. The door is not as tall. Um, it's wider. Um, the, they have a window with a smaller screen um, that you're able to open up, which is a nice feature. So we're able to get some cool air in. We also have these screens that zip in. So this provides a lot more airflow inside of the rig. The windows slide open. Um, there's not that um, awning of the window. So if it is rainy and windy, we would, we would get water inside of the rig, but they slide open. And then there's also another screen there that the screen can also slide open if need be. So that's a nice feature. This is our kitchen. First feature is when you open the door, it's got gas struts, so it just kind of opens itself and stays open, which is really nice. Um, looking at our kitchen, so we have a uh, sink that's built in with a water pump um, and a water faucet, so it's nice to have running water, nice to do dishes, wash your hands, brush your teeth. The water storage is underneath um, the sink. It's an 11 gallon tank but we've run into the problem where we can't use all 11 gallons because of the angle of the camper. So there's usually, we get usually about half or a little more than half of the water we're able to use before we have to fill up again. Uh, lots of storage for us to store uh, we, our pots and pans, our coffee maker, um, some cleaning supplies, we store down there. It's got a gas stove. So the burners are a little close together, so you have to use smaller pots if you want to use two at one time. Um, and the backsplash, one issue that we got into is if we made any food that splattered, um, it got stuck to the backsplash. But two uh, burners, uh, gas burners, so it has a microwave. Now we did not use the microwave because we wanted more storage. And there was a lot of campsites, most campsites, we weren't hooked up to power and we needed power to be able to use the microwave. So actually Matt took the microwave out and he put in some shelves to create more storage. So next we have our fridge, slides out, locks in place. Um, we've got our lid. In the inside we have this crate, which is nice to take in and out so we can clean. I can bring it inside and fill it up with food and then bring it out to the uh, camper. We have a little shelf here, it's about this, this big, that we use, uh, put our eggs there, Go-Gurt, um, then locks right back in place. There was some times where we had to put a clamp behind the fridge, depending on like the angle of the camper so it didn't slide back. So Matt just got a clamp, clamped it behind the uh, fridge there so it didn't slide back whenever we were using it. But when it's nice and flat and level and not attached to the trailer, 
there was no issue. So one thing I like about our tag uh, kitchen is when you close the door, you can just do it one handed. It's pretty easy. Locks. And that concludes our tag kitchen. And this is our TC teardrop kitchen. So first thing, the door has springs that hold it up, um, which is a different feature from the tag. We also have a touch light up here. It's nice in the evenings. Matt added this um, netting here because we have the cord for our gas for our stove and we kind of needed a place to put it. We were putting it inside um, the kitchen, but this is a, the best place we figured out for this. So um, first thing is we don't have a sink so what we do is we have our water or in jerry cans these are five gallons each we have two of them um, when we need to use it to wash our hands or brush our teeth or fill anything up there's a spout that's here on the bottom um, and we have that for uh, featured on both of the uh, cans so that's how we use that we have an extender that we added to it so we don't have to reach so far in to be able to turn on our water which is really nice uh, the next feature I really like is our galley type kitchen. We have these tables that attach to the outside. They store really easily and they're really simple to put together. Take that off, slide this in here, flip it over. So we have two of these. We have one here and one in the back. So it's a galley type kitchen. I have a ton of space, working space to cook. Um, I enjoy it because the kids are able to help me cook now. It's easy for them to put a step stool out here and cook with me. So I kind of like that feature too. So we have one in the front and the back. Next is our fridge. Our, this fridge is bigger than the fridge that we have in the new camp. Um, the door, I don't know if the other door probably does, but you can reverse it on which way you want it to open, which is a nice feature. The next is our storage. We have a lot more storage in this rig than we do in our tag of rig. First is the shelves that we just stuff with you know, utensils and things that we need. Next is an open shelf, which is different. I like the open shelf better because I can see um, what's in here instead of things falling and hiding. So the open shelf is really nice. Um, we have our stove here. Um, our other uh, table um, sets up right here so it's close to our gas. Um, and then underneath our stove is another storage unit, which is really nice because this is another table space or prep space while we're cooking. So just more storage for all of our pots and pans um, and our cooking utensils. We also have a drawer that we uh, pull out for knives and cutting boards. Uh, so our rig has a, a lot deeper space. So we actually fill it with storage containers. So we have four storage containers of food in here. So because we don't have a sink um, like we do in our new camp, we have a collapsible sink that we fill up that we're able to wash our dishes um, and store it away really easily. One thing that whenever we close the rig, um, which is different, is you need two hands to be able to close the kitchen instead of one hand. So I just take this and put this away. Buttons up real nice. So to, to close this, you have to kind of just um, take the weight off of from the door and then push these springs in to be able to close it. So it's tough when you have a bunch of snacks in your hands and you gotta put the snacks down to close the, close it up, but that's it. So inside the tag is a king size mattress. Underneath the mattress, you move these pads. There's storage underneath here um, that actually we didn't really use often because it was kind of hard to, we just, it wasn't excess, it wasn't easy storage. So we actually didn't, we put stuff in there, but we didn't really utilize the storage underneath the mattress as much as I think that we could have. Um, next thing is we have a TV um, and an air conditioning uh, unit. Matt put the shelf in for, and we uh, camp in the winter, we put our heater up here, which was really nice. There's storage on either side. It's not very deep um, storage, but there is storage that's here. There's a radio, which is fun. The kids like to listen to music. On the back side by our heads, there's also some more storage. It's not very deep, it's not very big, but it's there. And then we have storage on top, some open shelves that uh, was very handy. Um, there's another big window that's in the back, which is really nice to look at the stars in the middle of the night and another opportunity to provide more um, airflow inside of the rig. And there is a um, fan that's up on top of the roof as well. In our TC teardrop, the bed size is a queen, 
It's a little bit smaller, but what I love is there is a bunk on the inside. So both kids are able to sleep on top of the bunk above our feet. We added, we had an extra um, bed protector so the kids don't roll off that we just added. It's a really nice feature. So Bubby can lean against it and not roll out. Um, so there's a lot more storage inside of the TC teardrop. On the top there's shelves that are pretty deep and pretty high to store things. And then on the bottom there's a really deep shelf on the bottom on both sides. So that's a nice feature. We don't have air conditioning in this rig so we have fans that are, have chargeable batteries that we just hang up. Matt added some hooks so we can hang them up to help get that airflow inside of the rig. Tag is an XL which means that it's six feet wide by six feet long. So your sleeping area is, if I do the math right, 36 square feet, which is uh, pretty generous. So on the TC teardrop, it's five feet wide sleeping area by six feet, so that's 30 square feet. But there's a bunk, which is about three and a half feet by five feet wide, which adds another 17 square feet, totaling 47 square feet of sleeping area. That's a really good use of space. All right, so why did we pick the TC teardrop? So I took a couple notes just to make sure we didn't lose track, but... My notes, right here. <laughs> so uh, really like the first four or five topics between frame, clearance, tires, uh, all of that really relates to its off-road capabilities, you know, with the 360 and dynamic hitch that it has. Uh, it just gives us for our style of camping and being able to go on national forests and taking this to some really remote uh, places is a real sale for us. We get asked all the time, do you guys fit? We sure do. So one um, area that I really am glad that we chose the TC teardrop um, is the sleeping arrangements and in the inside. Um, I wanted to put a bunk in our tag. Um, and that's something that you can do if that's what you want. But in our TC teardrop, that's what Todd modified for us. So the sleeping arrangements is a definitely plus yeah. for us. That's an option you can get right from him. And what's nice is it's not only like the king size bed, we could all fit. We kind of were able to fit side by side, but what's nice is that they are truly away from us. So when they're kicking and moving, just makes a better sleeping night. All right, how about, let's talk about galley. Galley. So I really enjoy the TC Teardrop uh, galley. I feel like there's a lot more space um, to cook and to prep food um, and the capability that the kids now can help me prep mm -hmm. because they're able to reach things and there's a lot more storage. Um, yep, for, both in the back and the front. For the back and the front. So that's a definitely a plus of what we enjoy with our new TC. Yeah and there was just a lot of stuff on the TC or I'm sorry on the tag that we just didn't use. So like we had the air condition. We did use it when we had power and stuff like that, but really a lot of times we didn't use it. We didn't use the microwave. Uh, we didn't use the TV very often. If we wanted to watch a movie, we'd throw kind of an iPad in the, in the tag or whatever. So there's just a lot of features and bells and whistles that were actually battery drains that uh, we were able to take that off and just a more simpler design and it fits our needs better. Yeah, because a lot of times we weren't hooked up to power at campsites, so we didn't need all those bells and whistles, which if people enjoy that, that's absolutely a great quality with the tag. It's just something that our family really didn't need or utilize. Right, and I think you saw on the video too, one of the just unique quirks with the tag is that that tailgate doesn't open up when you're hooked up, and that was a big thing. Like we were always trying to get into the back or where we put stuff in the back of the Jeep or in the trailer uh, to gain access on our trips, and being able to open the tailgate was actually, it's a pretty nice feature. Absolutely. And then I think probably to, to me, and I think to Andrea as well, is like the number one reason I think that we went with the TC is that we're from central Wisconsin, Wausau area, and these trailers are built right here in Wausau. Uh, so it's a local guy employing local people and putting a high quality product out there that we really enjoy. And Todd and Carol are literally a phone call, a text away, and customer service, um, hands down, uh, the best we've ever seen. And that's fun to be able to work with the person who's building your tag because they get, or your, your, your TC, because they're just as excited to share the fun things that they built for you as we are to enjoy it and to figure it out. Yeah. So thanks for watching. That's why we ended up picking our TC over our tag. 
and uh, we really enjoy the next adventures that we've got planned for this and I hope you stick along and make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow our journey. Thanks for watching.